Would you turn to page 22? Turn to 412. Let's stand together and sing, Lord, what a change within us. Wow. 
Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, how great Thou art, and how great is Thy faithfulness upon this land and upon this people. We thank Thee for Thy presence. We thank Thee for the change that's already been wrought in our lives here this morning. For anything that God touches produces change, especially if that soul is a receptive person. We pray that we may be receptive this day. We ask in Christ's name that this would be a time of refreshing. Let the refreshing showers of Jesus Christ, of the Holy Spirit, fall upon us. In our hearts we cry, Mercy drops round us are falling, but for the showers we plead. Oh God, in a dry and a parched land, we plead for the showers of God. We pray, Lord, that our lives might be channels through the, which this shower might come. For we know, Lord, that we must persevere. We mo know that in tears we shall make a way for the for the showers to come, even as the rivers in the deserts of southern Israel. Oh God, today we thank Thee that we can worship Thee, that Thou art God, that Thou hast made heaven and earth, and that changing our life is no problem to Thee. Oh God, would You visit each person now in this sanctuary? Oh angels of God, would You make Your way through the aisles and over the back of the seats and in missions of mercy and of love and lifting, do the bidding of the Holy Spirit. Father, we thank Thee for angels. We thank Thee that Thou hast bid them to come to us this day. We pray that that mission will be accomplished in this hour. Where did I hear Jesus, someone speak? of an angel, oh yes, one who had the gift of visions, saw two, either 13 or 15 foot angels in front of the home built by faith. And in the parsonage yesterday, I breathed a sigh and I said, oh God, when will I see also? It wasn't a sigh of complaint. It was a sigh of appreciation, but it was still a prayer. When will I see angels too? Well, Lord, that's in your hands. May, may, it may never come until the trumpet blows, but thank God through the witness of the Holy Spirit, we know that the great host of God is ever-present and ministering to the heirs of salvation. Father, we thank thee for that today. Oh, open hearts, we pray. I was so thankful when I looked down at this young doctor-to-be, Terry Good, and in the opening hymn, he was looking to thee. In the opening hymn, even as Arlene has, has noticed so many times as she's persevered to walk with thee, in these last few years, the hymns are no longer just words. They're words of life. They're living words. God speaks to us in prayer. We speak to him in adoration and in praise. And sometimes the joy is so high that silence is the greatest praise we can give him. I pray we may be able to discern the difference when we should speak and when we should be silent. Thank you so much for all that have been willing to put aside all that is in the clamoring of men and seek thee first. For you promised that you would take care of everything if we do it. And this day we seek thee and thee alone. In God's name we pray. And Lord, now would you be with us as we pray those words that our Lord taught us to pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
Sunday is a wonderful spring day, a day like no other. And the prayer that the choir just made unto God, you've given us all of these things. Now give unto us a grateful heart. I trust that your heart's been so in tune this day already that your heart is very grateful. For God to speak in the opening hymns, for God to speak in the prayer, for the Lord to speak through the choir. It's such a marvelous privilege. Just think that in some services across the land, you can be there and not once have the witness of the Holy Spirit. Not once be fed of God. And who are we that God should speak to us? Not anybody. Sometimes he, where he finds nothing, he can bring something. And that's how he made the world and hung this beautiful world on nothing. The choir, I have another leading on my heart here this morning. Oh, the choir number was so good. Oh, and give to us a grateful heart. I'm just so thankful. I hardly know how to, how to uh, express myself. But I want them to sing another one here before they go down. Is there anyone in the audience while they're distributing the books that has a grateful heart? And you can tell that you're to express it because there's an inner knock there the Holy Spirit that says, that says, I want to express my grateful heart. Yes, Margaret. Praise the Lord. So much. Just this morning, getting ready for church, I was thinking what peace of mind God has given me since I got saved. I used to be up almost every night walking the floor and worrying about my kids. Yes. I was driving Earl crazy and myself and my life was miserable. It seems like every time they were in trouble, I knew it and I was just sitting up waiting for the phone to ring all the time and it was just tearing me to pieces. And from the day I got saved, God has let me sleep every night. Except a couple of nights when they were in trouble. And I just was thinking this morning how grateful I am for the peace of mind that I have now since I've been saved. Praise the Lord. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Praise the Lord. Did you get, is Otis with us today? Oh, I started saying, I wonder if I said, Otis, we need you on the get tired, and he's already, oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, Margaret, that helped us so much. Peace of mind. God gives that salvation. One of the signs that my wife Barbara was genuinely converted was that God took from her the fear of death. And that is in most everyone's consciousness if they're normal. But when Jesus saved her, the fear of death left. Never came back. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Peace of mind. Amen. Praise his holy name. Is there anyone else? Yes, sir, Terry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, I saw you right off this morning in the opening hymn. He said, oh, Jesus, hear this young doctor to be is grateful. Brother Helm was praying for you this morning on the phone, Terry. Yes, sir. Praying for Terry and Brenda. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Jay Oliver, God's been so good to me. Yes, sir. Amen. I've been privileged to be here and be with you for about seven years. Jesus, I'm so thankful. It's a good number, Terry. 
He's never left me. No. He's never forsaken me. No, sir. No, sir. He's never given up on me. Never given up. No. And you've never given up on me. No. No, sir. Where a lot of people would have. Why, Terry? Because I'm sure that you've seen struggles. Struggles, yes. But that's a good sign. God sure has been good to me. Amen. He's been so good to me all these seven years, all of my life to have mercy on me, to be able to get me here into this place. Yes, sir. And I'm thankful that somewhere in my background, I've had ancestors that must have desired to walk with God. Yes, sir. I'm thankful because the desire sure is in my heart. Yes, sir. And I fail often, but yet the desires there that never goes away. And it seems that the more I fail, and the weaker I feel, the greater the desire is. Oh, yeah. I'm just so thankful the way God's helped us in the... Thank you, Jesus. Just recently. Yes, sir. To have mercy on me to get me in med school. Oh, there he is, sir. He had to bring me to the place where I was willing to just trust and if I never got in. I had to struggle for a while, but God was so wonderful to me to help me to see that if I never got in, it was worth it. Oh, yeah. Just to be able to trust Him. What's well, good, Terry? Praise the Lord. And when I gave it up, then He gave it to me. Yeah. See, I had to give up what He was called to do because it seemed forever blocked. God opened the door. And then this week, this past week, we went to Morgantown. And how God helped us to find a place to put our trailer. And just little things. We we have a puppy, but we love our little puppy. And yeah. he's so good for Brenda yeah. when I'll be away. Yes, and they'll let us have him. And we're just so thankful. Well, hey, and it's just like Pastor Dave said. He said, there can't be any doubt about a God in the universe. When he work out just small little details for you. And we're just five minutes from the med school, and it's a precious Christian lady that runs the place. Amen. And she was talking about what's wrong with the church today is that they're too formal. They've left God out. Right. They deliver us That's Jesus. Right. And I just thought, here, who is this lady, you know? That, and we started sharing, and I was sharing some things that, that Brother Helm has shared with us. Yeah. I didn't mention his name, but the things that he's taught us and the struggles that she's gone through and how lifted and the tears had rolled out her cheeks. And she was just so encouraged and thankful to have us in that place and how it was nobody even knew that this trailer lot was going to become available. And Friday we called and the lady said, yes, there's a trailer moving out today. Amen. And I'm just so grateful. And was sitting, when we're standing here singing that song this morning, and I looked up at you, and I tell you, it just flooded and flooded and flooded over me. Glory. I just can't express how thankful I am, Oliver. Thank you. That you love me. Oh, my. And we don't get to talk very much. That's so easy to But yet, when I look at you, I know that you love me. Oh, my gosh, great. I didn't see you looking at me. I saw you looking straight up. Well, it's because I can see Jesus in you. (laughs) Oh, Jesus, have mercy. For God's grace. Praise his name, Terry. Oh, I I was just feeding from the table. Yes. I was so happy. I was trying to keep quiet, you know. I don't want well, I was thankful I could see somebody that was as thankful as I was oh, this morning. I, Lord, yeah. now, I know you're more thankful than I am usually, no, probably. No, no, that, but this we're morning, race, this morning I sure was thankful. <laughs> and I was looking for people that were as grateful and as thankful as I was this morning. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Looking, people's, looking for people who's grateful as he was. Found me up there. Yes, sir. Well, I could be an old long mouth preacher. Grumpy in certain ways. I'm thankful you worked oh, this morning. Jesus, deliver me. Dude. Yes, sir. Uh, such a thrill. I just want to praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And I just want to Amen. be what God wants me to be. Praise and I'm God. thankful for Brother Ham that he would pray for me. Yeah, he's praying for you this morning. I sure am pitiful to have anybody like that praying for me. Oh, but I'm thankful. A thing. <laughs> and I praise the Lord. I praise thank the Lord. you for letting me stand oh, up and I'm share so how glad. grateful yeah, I am. I'm so glad. Praise I the Lord, know. brother. Praise the Lord. The song the choir is about to sing expresses joy on the other side, but uh, expresses joy on this side also, where eternal life begins when we start walking with Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Now that's, that's a wonderful word today. Peace in your heart. Peace in our hearts. Praise the Lord. 
Thank you, Jesus. Just as soon as Sally hit that piano and opened, I said, oh, God, in heaven, just like a little window in heaven opened up and we were trying to climb through. <laughs> Praise his holy name. Thank you, choir. Thank you, choir. Wonderful peace, how many 
down from the Father of us. Sweet water, my spirit, forever I pray. In fathomless hills Wonderful thing to know that Jesus is visiting us, not only with his personal presence, but with his heavenly host in accomplishing his mission today. I received quite a surprise when I found that Earl and Sarah Watson were with us today. And I was delighted. I was thankful. Is that my surprise couple? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is a joy to see you two here and uh, also to welcome someone who's coming to stay with us. Laurel Van Dam, or Van Dam is with us and her mother, Mrs. Jackie Stark. And uh, Laurel's just, it's home. She's come home to be with us. And in the fellowship time here this morning, I want you to greet her and make her at home, and I'm so thankful that down in the aisle here yesterday, uh, Jeannie recognized her, and uh, the love relationship started here in the church, here in Scott Depot. It would it'd be all right, mother and daughter, if you just just stand so everybody can see who you are. We'd like to make them aware of your presence. Her mother is the wife of a Baptist minister. And uh, we're very thankful to have a preacher's wife with us today. And uh, Mrs. Stark on our stage is a Baptist minister. This gentleman right over here is an ordained Southern Baptist preacher. This gentleman right here is an ordained American Baptist preacher. So the Baptists are all around. And the, the woman who took the walk for Jesus, she's been Baptist all of her life. And she loves Jesus Christ. It's a joy to have you two with us. Thank you. Thank you. There are others who are visiting with us today, and you will begin looking around and see who they are. But if you worship here regularly, would you stand at this time and greet them, for they will be seated. Greet those who are seated. Would you please make them welcome? I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Made an entire province of France to the Virgin Mary forever. Sounds like uh, quite an act of generosity. However, when he wrote up the deed, he said they would keep all the revenues for himself from that land. Unless we're careful, of course, we're under grace, and we can say, well, we're under grace, and all that I have belongs unto God. All that I have is his forever, but we'll keep most of the revenues for ourselves. Lord, help us this morning as we give our tithes and offerings to remember, to realize that it's his and we bring them wholly unto him. So ushers, if you'll come forward this morning, we'll confirm our covenant with him by giving to him that which is his because we love him and because we want to thank him. In holy reverence, Lord, we would bring our offerings to you this morning. Not just the tithe, but whatever that you would direct us to give so that we truly could say, 
not just by a declaration because we're under grace that you have everything, but we demonstrate it by our willingness to bring unto you that which is yours. Bless those who give in this offering, and Lord, continue to help us in this service by your presence and anointing. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust consume and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven where there neither moth nor rust consumes and where the thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Every wall he sees and feels Tenderly he whispers comfort And the broken heart he heals No Thank you.